Hey everybody, it's Charlie with Sly Fox Fishing. Uh, out here, it's, clouds are rolling in, it's kind of hot. Gonna try to do a little bit of fishing here. See if we can catch a few bass. And uh, we'll catch you here in a few. Alright everybody. What we're going to use today is a uh, jack hammer spot remover. Stealth, half ounce. It, uh, it's a new one from me. I hadn't tried the jackhammer yet, but I got this on for a good deal. Thanks to uh, Fishing with Gramps. Bought it at uh, American Fishing, American Legacy Fishing Tackle Company out of Evansville, Indiana. And Gramps code, Gramps 10, save 10%. I figure why not try it out. Put a uh, cream white fluke on there dipped his tail in a little bit of chartreuse colorant using a 30 pound test J braid by Daiwa using my uh, six gill creature rod seven foot medium heavy fast action rod and uh, my six gill 7.0 Hamar reel and uh, See if we can turn up a bite or two here, hopefully. I missed a couple the other day when I was out on the, the cross eye and it had a weed guard on it. After I missed a second one, I cut them off. I don't like weed guards. Unless I'm on a jig. And then I know I'm just going to waylay it when they hit that, so... I'm running spinner baits and other bladed baits like the jackhammers and or the chatter bait style baits. I don't yank it as hard. Maybe I should. Maybe it's my own fault. But old habits hard to break. I might go right there. There we go. He hit her at the bank. Funny I seen him. He shot out. A few feet behind. And he kind of disappeared. In a uh, yeah, little spot. Uh, 12, right around 12 inches there, close to three quarters of a pound, seven eighths of a pound maybe. And uh, seen him shoot out from right over there. You see where I'm pointing out? He come this way and then he just disappeared. And he come back up over here. <laughs> Gotta love them little fellers. Pretty little bass, healthy. Thank you, bud. Thanks for playing. Alright everybody, we're up here another spot on the canal system here. You didn't catch nothing else other than that one. Three quarter and three quarters of a pound a pound. Twelve, thirteen inch bass, wasn't no giant one. That'd be nice to catch a couple more.
Look at there, look at there, look at there. Not a big one. Not another bass, we'll take it. little three-quarter pound seven-eighths pound bass out in the large amount yes sir thanks for playing bud no more than about you all did it okay you just seen there it's cut about three-quarter pound to one pound bass there even with a lawnmower noise don't bother them That thing is, is you tell it right away. You're gonna walk it and fish, you can. Oh well. This thing is trying to stop somebody from walking down the sidewalk. Can't, it's right away. So, point, listen to the wording that it's called right of way. So, the right be there some people don't understand that which is fine we don't even own the house it's a rental <laughs> guess they're protecting their fish maybe that's their water <laughs> oh beautiful Kevin has done what his parents told him to do, which is fine. I caught a bass while he was mowing. Freaking awesome. So, joke. I'm Karen, Kyle, Kyle Jr. on the mower. I'm pushing the mower. That's awesome. A little sweat in my eyes. Alrighty, now it's hot. I'm sweating. I have to move them back in again. They kind of moved out on me, mostly, but it's about all the time I got the fish, we got two, 23 quarters of a pound, a pound a piece. I had the cow junior pair of the lawnmower. I don't care. Yeah, it's fun. I like to fish. I was in the public right away. So, we uh, got to catch a couple. Like I said, even if we only caught one, I was still gonna put the content up no matter what. So that's about two hours worth of fishing. At least you won't have to watch two hours worth of fishing on this. I'll edit it down. And soon as um, I get my Cass Cray baits delivered, should be one day this coming week. As long as the male doesn't lose it. I'm famous for that anymore. And uh, we'll do an unboxing video on those and uh, tell you a little bit more about the baits. And uh, I didn't get a whole lot. You know, I got a few things, you know, some stick baits, uh, swim bait, which I'm excited to try out. Good time of year for that. And uh, we'll see what we got going on with them. But until next time, just remember, if you want to catch some bass, you got to keep it sly.